Let's talk about exoplanets. This is the name that we give to the collection of interstellar planets that our scientists have been able to identify out there amongst the stars of the Milky Way galaxy. Many of the exoplanets we've discovered look fairly similar to our own neighbors like Neptune and Jupiter, but others are so unfathomably extreme in their composition and environment that they test the limits of our imagination and comprehension. By studying these distant worlds, we can start to catch a glimpse of just how beautiful, violent, extreme, and massive the greater galaxy around us can be. We are truly floating on the tiniest island of a paradise in a sea of madness, and the best way to appreciate that is to journey out into the great unknown. So, let's go. This is the Space Race. Let's start off with an exoplanet known by the underwhelming title of J1407b. I'm going to go with the Lord of the Rings here because this gas giant has a ring system that is 200 times larger than the ring around the planet Saturn. This Super Saturn is located 433.8 light years from Earth in the constellation of Centaurus and we are able to detect these rings from so far away by measuring the amount of light from the host star as the planet passes in front of it. A usual exoplanet will create a dimming effect as it briefly obscures the light from the star, but with J1407b, scientists observed a complex series of small dimmings that lasted for 56 days. They determined that this was caused by a system of 37 rings that surround the gas giant. The ring system is so big that observers believe there is even a Mars-sized exoplanet orbiting within a gap between the ring layers. But if you were to swap out our planet Saturn and replace it with the Super Saturn, the rings would be so gigantic that they would be clearly visible in our night sky, actually appearing larger than the full moon. NASA has discovered the oldest known planet in the Milky Way galaxy. At an estimated age of 13 billion years, PSR B1620 26b is more than twice as old as Earth's 4.5 billion years. It's about as old as a planet can be, forming around a young sun-like star just 1 billion years after the explosive birth of our universe in the Big Bang. Scientists determine the age of planets and stars in the sky by measuring something called the red shift. Basically, the older light is, the more stretched out the wavelengths become, and the further it drifts into the infrared spectrum. Located 12,400 light years from Earth in the constellation of Scorpius, the Methuselah planet orbits a pair of burnt out binary stars inside a giant cluster of more than 100,000 stars. Its very existence proves that planets were actually very quick to form after the creation of our universe, and that tells astronomers that planets are likely more abundant in our galaxy than previously believed. The only thing blacker than Spinal Tap's album cover is Exoplanet TRES 2b. This gas giant planet reflects less than 1% of the light from its host star, making it blacker than the blackest acrylic paint, blacker than coal, second only to a literal black hole, from which zero light can escape. Located 750 light years away in the direction of the constellation Draco, this Jupiter-sized planet has a superheated atmosphere of more than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat actually causes some of the clouds in the atmosphere to emit a faint red glow, so the planet might appear like a burning ember in a lump of coal. Researchers propose that light-absorbing chemicals such as vaporized sodium and potassium or gaseous titanium oxide in the planet's atmosphere could help explain why it is so dark. But still, none of these can fully explain why the world is as stealthily cloaked as it is. OTS-44 is interesting because it is kind of halfway between a rogue gas giant exoplanet and a brown dwarf star. Located 550 light years away in the constellation Chameleon, OTS-44 is not bound to the orbit of any star, so it's not circling around any set point, it's just out there wandering through space. 
While OTS44 is somewhere between one quarter and one half the size of our sun, it's only about 1% the mass. So it bears resemblance to just a really massive Jupiter-like planet. But OTS44 has been found to emit an excessive amount of infrared radiation for an object of its type, suggesting it has a circumstellar disk of dust, rock, and ice orbiting around it. The disk has a mass of at least 10 Earths, and therefore has the potential to develop into its own planetary system. So this rogue planet could evolve into a rogue planetary system flying through the galaxy on a journey to infinity. Let's talk about the hottest known exoplanet, Kelt 9b. This is what astronomers classify as an ultra-hot Jupiter. It weighs about three times the mass of Jupiter and boasts surface temperature of 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than some known stars. The planet is so hot that molecules in the planet's atmosphere can't stay together. Molecules of hydrogen gas are torn apart on the planet's day side. Then as particles flow around to the dark side of the planet, they are able to briefly reform into elements before repeating the violent fission process all over again. Exoplanet HD 189733b is often referred to as the slasher planet due to the razor sharp rain of molten glass particles that whip around the atmosphere in wind speeds up to 5,400 miles per hour or seven times the speed of sound. The beautiful cobalt blue color of this hot Jupiter's atmosphere isn't the reflection of a water ocean. It's more like the blue flame of an ultra hot blowtorch. Luckily, this one is approximately 64.5 light years away from the solar system in the constellation Volpecula. A new type of huge and rocky alien world has been discovered about 560 light years away in the constellation Draco. This is significant because while the rocky composition of Kepler 10c may be very similar to our own Earth, the exoplanet weighs in at 17 times more mass than the Earth with a diameter 2.3 times larger. This is the biggest super-Earth discovered so far, a mega-Earth, and this planet has actually started to change scientists' long-held ideas about what is physically possible in terms of planet formation. It was previously thought that planets of Kepler 10c's mass would have to become gaseous, collecting hydrogen as they grew and turning into Jupiter-like worlds. But this mega-Earth proves that theory to be false, especially when we consider that this ancient rock was formed less than 3 billion years following the Big Bang, proving that rocky planets have been around out there for much longer than the Earth. And we know that if a planet has the ingredients to make rocks, then those same elements can form life under the right circumstances. Of course, any advanced life form that could withstand the gravity of such a massive planet would be so monstrous and unfathomable, like a page out of H.P. Lovecraft's Cosmic Horror. Exoplanet TOI 849b is a solid ball of iron and rock, about the size of Neptune, that is getting a second chance at life. Located 741 light years away in the constellation of Sculptor, this is actually believed to be the remaining core of a gas giant like Jupiter that had its gaseous atmosphere blown away at some time long in the past. This is the most dense Neptune-sized planet discovered so far and is orbiting so close to its host star that it only takes 18 hours to make one rotation hitting an average temperature of 2,781 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the first time we've seen a planet with that amount of density orbiting so close to a star. Whether the gas giant's atmosphere was stripped away by solar winds, or it just failed to gather an atmosphere to begin with, this discovery gives us an insight into what the core of more familiar planets like Jupiter might look like. Let's talk about 55 Cancri E. This super-hot super-Earth has been known as the Diamond Planet because of a theory that carbon in the surface has been so heavily compressed and heated by the nearby star that it's formed into solid diamond. The exoplanet is incredibly close to its star, orbiting once every 18 hours, 
and that ramps the surface temperature up to around 4,900 degrees Fahrenheit. So if the planet had an extremely high carbon concentration, then the conditions would be there for it to form into diamond. However, most people reporting on this particular planet didn't get the memo that the diamond theory was debunked years ago. This planet likely doesn't contain nearly as much carbon as was previously believed, and it's likely more similar to a gas giant with a supercritical fluid state of hydrogen and helium gases that flow around the surface like a liquid ocean. So, sorry to kill your dreams of interstellar diamond mining. Going down in a blaze of glory is the doomed planet WASP-12b, a hot Jupiter gas giant that is so close to its parent star that it is slowly being eaten alive and incinerated. Located in the distant constellation Auriga, roughly 1200 light years from Earth, the star's scorching heat is slowly stripping away and devouring the planet's atmosphere. In 10 million years, this alien world could be completely consumed. The force of gravity pulling on the exoplanet causes tidal forces that are so strong that it's been stretched out into a kind of egg shape, with the pointy end being slowly siphoned off into oblivion. And that is just the smallest slice of the weird, wondrous, and horrifying forces at play in our home galaxy. We've only begun to discover a single grain of sand in the sandbox that is the Milky Way and we still know nothing of the desert that is our universe. The scale of existence is so preposterously gigantic that we could easily go mad just thinking too much about it, so let's stop for now. Let us know your favorite exoplanet in the comments down below. Meet us back here every week for more updates on everything aerospace industry and interstellar exploration related. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up today if you liked it, that really helps us out for real. And subscribe to the Space Race for more videos just like this. We do one long form essay and one news update every week. And if you'd like more, we've got two more on the screen for you right now.